What up guys? Corbin with the Wasatch Gear Review. Up here in Little Cottonwood Canyon. And I just decided I wanted to do a little exploring. Up around all the uh, granite rock climbs in this canyon. So thanks for coming along. Try to get you guys some good footage of what I see. I don't know if you guys can make out the guy in the crack right there doing a little crack climbing. Pretty sure that's called Crescent Crack. That right there, my friends, is the coffin. Pretty sweet. There we are, getting even closer to the coffin. That crack below the coffin, so that's the coffin. That crack below is a 5'9 trad climb. And you can stop right there. Just to the right is uh, some chains, or you can do the overhang and do the face of the coffin to the top. Very prominent piece of rock here in Little Cottonwood Canyon. What's up guys? Yeah, just um, hiking up this ravine, just doing some scrambling, really. Come a long ways. There's the road down there, you can see it winding right there. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful up here. Definitely a warm day for the first of October, love and life. All is well in the world. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just heading up through all this scrub and loose rock. Absolutely beautiful. Getting closer to the top, my friends. Whew, this is rough going. It's basically just uh, bushwhacking all the way up this ravine. Dodging and weaving, y'all, dodging and weaving. What's up, guys? So I basically just started the scrambling to the top. I am almost to the top of this cliff band. I want to get up there, kick back, relax, check out the views. But uh, if I can turn around without dying, I'll show you the view below me. That's the road down there. Beautiful little cottonwood canyon behind me. Absolutely gorgeous up here today. Right on. Made it to the top of this mother. Looks like there's a good, well, a few good viewpoints. That was a lot of scrambling. Right up that ravine right there. Yeah. Little Cottonwood Canyon, my friends. Yeah, it was kind of silly 
I started going right up through there and got stuck, of course, and I had to work my way back down and come along up here over to this point that I'm at now. Looks like there's a much better better uh, viewpoint from way out over here. There's the Salt Lake City Valley, my friends. The Ochre Mountain Range, right along there. Now the tricky part is, is getting back down this mother. That's the tricky part. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, baby. Just like a mountain goat. Until you inadvertently fall to your death. But that's not going to happen on my watch. Maybe one day. But what a way to go, huh? What a way to go. Now that, my friends, is a long ways down. Let's see if I can scope out my vehicle. There's the Durango parked on the side of the road. Holy moly. Yeah. We're a ways off the deck now. Oh, look, a set of climbing chains over here. Let's go check them out. Nice and slowly. Should have hauled up my harness and a rope. I could have repelled off this instead of scrambling all the way back down. Let's see, where did I see those chains? Oh, right there. Set of rock climbing chains. I could have repelled this face. And then scrambled the rest of the way back down. I do think, because I came up on that other side, I think I'm going to hit this ravine back down and hopefully I don't run into any, any cliffs that would stop my descent. I'm going to take a better look and just see what it looks like before I start down it. Gorgeous day up here. I'm glad I took the time to come out. I'm excited because my buddy Mark's in town. And today at 5, 
We're going to go do some rock climbing. So that's exciting. I love these granite cliffs. People will tell you if you want to train for Yosemite, which is all granite also, this is the place, my friends. They call this Little Yosemite. And for good reason. These cliffs are wild. Oh. Alright guys, so, excuse me, I'm going to try to head down off of this cliff band, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't run into anything too steep for me to handle down this way, So this is not the way I came up. We got some angry clouds above me. And the worst thing on granite or any kind of rock is to get it wet. So I'm gonna start heading back down to the truck. Wish me luck, everyone. Wish me luck. Let's go in the pocket. All right, it's gonna get hectic. There's nearly no good way. Bushwhacking, scrambling. Boy, this shit'll beat you up. I guess the best way is right through there, I don't know. There's really no best way through this stuff. That's that's the thing. You just kinda have to scramble and bushwhack and let it be whatever it's gonna be. This looks a little hairy. Hopefully there's no loose stuff on here. Cause that'll make you skate quicker than a dude on a half pipe. Ugh.
Glad I more, wore the mini gators today. Lifesavers, mini gators. Keep all the crap out of your shoes. I knew I was gonna be doing this though. I wasn't about to play the full role. Out into some open area. I think I'll choose left. I think I came up right and it proved to be a pain in the butt. Whew, dripping some sweat now. That's for sure. Well, I got down out of the hairy stuff. Back on a primitive trail. Headed back to the main trail. Lots of fun. And you got some climbers up in Crescent Crack. It down one piece all is well thanks for joining me everyone a little view of what I get to see and what I get to do up in Little Cottonwood Canyon Utah thanks for joining everyone I appreciate you all subscribe if you haven't already to the channel appreciate you guys be safe and adventure on